Okay. I'm really sorry. So yeah. So the, the products have no fumes and so and they're very, very effective. The other thing is that I want to show you the basic um, detergents that we have for, for using both in the house and they can even be used outside the house so that we can understand how we can benefit from that. And I'll start with the basic four. And um, the first basic one you can see there is called LDC. LDC is a light duty concentrate. I'll be talking a little more deeper about it. Um, then there's Super 10. Super 10 is a super concentrated product and it is for heavy duty cleaning. Then we have Soft. Soft is a softener and G1 is a, for, for, the, for cleaning the, the clothes. And we have one called Care. Care is for disinfection. So I'll be going to them one by one and mentioning how it is that we can cut our budgets by half by using the products. So there we have the super, I'll start with the LDC. LDC are one liter. We have one liter, we have five liter, we have 25 liters. So you can see by that, they are also used on commercial basis in a very big way. And um, the one liter of LDC can be mixed to about three to five liters of water. So when you have your one liter, you could give yourself five, six liters, and that is the first dilution in some of the cases. What do you do LDC? What do you, how do you use LDC? Um, depending with how your house is, LDC can take two months. There are people who really use it heavily. Their homes are big. Some people may use it three, four, five, six months. Like if somebody is single, or maybe they are just two or three, it's a product that can take a longer period. And it has, it depends on the, main, the uses you'll give in the home. So one of the uses you can use for LDC is for hand wash. So for hand wash, the one to five is very concentrated. So once you've done the one to five and you put maybe half of it to the mixing bottle, as you can see on the screen, you can still add water and use that for hand wash. When it comes to the other thing, you can use it for fruits and vegetables. All the fruits, all the vegetables, all the cereals and meat. So what you do when you, when you mix it in the mixture of one to five or one to, one to seven, depending on how you use it, this one container with the mixing bottle, uh, when you're washing you the, the vegetables, you take a bowl of water, probably you put water half, or depending with how many things you're washing, and then you put just a few squats of what is on there mixing, from the mixing bottle. That mixing bottle has a tap where you open up. And once you open up the top part, the very top part, it means now that you can pour a little bit into washing. You can pour a little bit into washing the, 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 the whatever is in the bowl, whether it is apples, whether it is um, vegeta whether it is sukuma, whether it is, as though the ones that you cut, you need to wash when they are not cut so that you don't drain away the nutritional value. So whatever it is you're washing, you put a few squats in the water, soak them for a few minutes, come and wash them. Maybe you could be having a special sponge for cleaning the fruits and vegetables, specifically put aside for that, that you can do. The other thing you can use for cleaning, we've said you do the cereals like maharagwe, the, the minjis, the dengus, maize, you can clean that before you cook or even meat because meat is handled by very many people out there. So you can do that. The other use you can use for LDCs for in the bathroom. You can put one of these in the bathroom for actual showering where you have a sponge, the one that usually gets for me. You put it water, put a squat or two, and that squat or two is enough to rub throughout the body because it's quite foamy. 
The only thing you need to make sure is it doesn't get into the eyes. So even when you're washing the children, make sure it doesn't get into the eyes. Yes, you can wash your face with it. You can wash your hair with it, but make sure it doesn't get into the eyes so that you don't get irritated. Um, another use for LDC can be for cleaning your kitchen towels. You simply put some warm water, put a squat or two, soak them overnight and you're good to go. Or cleaning your innerwear. The sensitive innerwears like stockings, the masks we are using, we are using those masks that we put every day. We should not use those soaps that can produce foams because you'll, the whole day you'll be putting in those fumes. So with LDC and some warm water, very easy to clean the masks, the stockings, the innerwears, the bras. It makes life very easy for those innerwears. Something else you can use for LDC is like if you want to do your cuticles in the house, you can put some warm water in a bowl, put some LDC and soak your legs there for a few minutes. Then you're able to work on them and removing the cuticles and the under part where we normally get a lot of um, the, the, the the skin that keeps piling up and right at the cuticles. It will help you even remove the cuticles very well. For people who don't have good cleansers, you can actually make LDC your cleanser. If you don't have a good cleanser out there in the market, LDC is very good. People with skin challenges, a lot of rashes, eczema, those challenges of the skin, or people who are very sensitive, LDC is very good for cleaning. For, for cleaning the body in that area. The other uses is the, it can clean the, the stoves and everything, but if they, are grease, if they are greasy, it means it can be used for, it can be used for cleaning the ovens and all those kind of things. So that is very, very important to know. Um, so LDC, we have one liter, we have five liter, and we have 25 liters for commercial use. Where can you use LDC for commercial use? Milk plants and factories at where uh, food is processed. We have very many other uses for LDC, which we can get to know much more. I can see our time is really moving. And the LDC also can be used in the farm where we have the doodoos. Those doodoos that really uh, hurt the, the vegetables, like the aphids. You simply dilute and spray, and you don't have to use harsh chemicals. And that way you'll be able to have them go out. And immediately after spring, you can eat those vegetations. You don't have to get worried about that. Then Super 10 is a heavy duty cleaner. Super 10, I love it because for me, with a liter of Super 10, I'll mix it to between 10, 15, or 20, depending on the uses of the house. So you can do to one to 10 liters. And while you're using, if the use is not very serious, the normal use, now you can also put half and then redilute again, half the, the rest of the part. But if you're using for things like probably the car engine, where there are stains, heavy stains, you can make the dilution to be a little bit more heavy. So what can you use Super 10 for? Cleaning your seats. Comfortably, you clean your seats with Super 10, it will do a great job. And then, of course, the first set of cleaning might be difficult, especially where there are stains. Uh, if the, the seats are very dirty, you can actually use some warm water and then you spray all over the surface. Give it a little bit of time to do the work. Then you come with a clean cloth, preferably cotton that does not remove uh, any, uh, the, the ones that don't remove small, small pieces of uh, material. You clean it and wipe your seats, or wipe the services, even if it's a wall. You just spray everywhere. Once you've done the spraying, give it a few minutes, come with a piece of cloth and wipe it out. And that goes even with the kitchen appliances, the oven. When you cook, sometimes it can be very greasy. So while it's still warm, spray your Super 10, give it a few minutes, come with a nice cloth, clean it out. And the pots, if they have those challenges, you can put some, some Super 10 there and it, they'll be cleaned uh, better. If your plates have stains, some people, we, sometimes we have our white plates and because of taking a lot of tea or turmeric or whatever it is, they start changing color. You can soak overnight in some, in some 
super 10 and warm water and the following day they will have remained as good as new so anything that has grout anything that has stains super 10 will do a great job super 10 can be used also for cleaning windows but you need to make sure you use you, probably you use very, very little so that it doesn't cause streaking. It is being used very well for cleaning the car interior, your car seats. That is something even a child who is in their teens can do the cleaning very easily. You just go spray all the seats, give it a few minutes, do first wipe, second wipe, third wipe. Of course, changing that water that you are wiping with. And the beauty is super 10 when you clean the upholstery. It doesn't dry, it doesn't stay very wet for long. It, it will dry very, very fast. So that's a big one for Super 10. It's used for uh, factories. Most tea factories in Kenya and coffee factories, they actually use our Super 10, the one that is not fragranced. So we have the fragranced, one liter, five liter, 25 liters. And we have the non-fragranced, uh, five liter and 25 liters. And it can do so many things, the garages and even like when you're washing clothes, they are normally very dirty at the collar and the armpits and where the, the, the pockets are. You can first spray with Super 10, give it a few minutes. Then now after those few minutes, you soak with the rest of the clothes. So it will do a great, great job. It has very many uses. Um, and you can see there the liters as they go one liter five liter and then the next one is 25 both for super 10 and ldc so that's great for super 10 we have care in this covid season i would encourage everybody to have care care is so good because once you buy it now you mix it to 50 liters of water for home use and it kills germs my 99.9 percent .9%. where can you use care everywhere you can use care on your face or the last rinse when you shower, the last rinse of water, you can put a bit of care and you, you pour it on yourself. You can use it on your armpits. There are people who are very allergic to roll-ons. You can actually use it as a, as a roll-on kind of, like to remove the bad odor. Very nice for that. Uh, care can be used for gargling the mouth. Gargling the mouth, mouth you know, uh, after you brush, you just put a warm a glass of warm water, put a few drops of the diluted care, and you gargle. I'm not saying you swallow. You gargle and put it out. Every time you clean your toilet with Super 10, because Super 10 is very good for cleaning the toilets, then you can actually spray the care and leave it there for a few minutes to do its work. In the kitchen, how do I use care for the last 18 years in my kitchen? I use it to, after I have cleaned my fruits and vegetables with LDC, if I'm going to juice, or I'm going to do a vegetable salad, I actually do a small dilution and soak them there for a few minutes. And then I leave it, I leave them out to dry and I'm good to go. And that I have done for a very, very long time. Care can be used for places where like if you there's a bad smell like fish, maybe fish yeah. for somewhere, there's a bad smell. Or maybe you cleaned a carpet, didn't dry very well, it has a bad smell, or the drainage, or the bin where we put our, 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 our uchafu, the weekly, daily rubbish. You, every time you clean it, you spray it with your care. Um, so it has very many uses, you don't, and it, this one can take you even a year in the house, you know? But please don't dilute all of it. Dilute it in bits. You can start with a five liter container and work backwards. How much do you need to put in the five liter container? You work backwards of one liter to 50 liters. Then you can see how much can be put for 25, half a liter, 25 liters, like backwards like that, until you have the kind of container that you have. The rest, you keep it in concentrate away from anybody else. And then we have G1 laundry for washing clothes. If for people who have washing machines, they really love the G1 because the machines have a challenge. You know, the, 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 they have metal parts that can get sometimes rusty and maintaining that can be quite a challenge. So if you've not used G1 before and you have a washing machine, 
first put an old towel in the machine and a little bit of the G1. Then you do one run, two, a few runs, so that you remove the glime that could be in the machine, in the, in the met metallic parts. And then thereafter, you are good to go. It really maintains the machine. Um, for G1, it always requires you at least to do pre-soaking. Pre when you do pre-soaking, whether it's the sheets, the towels, it works much better. But that doesn't mean you still can't put the soap when you're beginning because, you are, because it is used in a, a higher temperature of a few degrees up. You need some warm water. So if you're doing the normal soaking, the normal soaking without using the machine, you take some water in a cup, warm water, 60 degrees or thereabout, put your one scoop or two scoops of G1, mix that, then you put it in the bigger basin where there's water and you soak it there. If you soaked your sheets, your towels, maybe overnight, the following day you just do a quick run with the machine and you're good to go. You're good to go. If it's for hand wash, anything that is white, you need to soak maybe for two hours. But anything else that is dark, you can soak overnight, you're good to go. And the beauty with G1, once you've soaked the whites and you've cleaned them, that same water is strong enough for you to soak the dark colors. You might see it like it's very dirty because G1 does a thorough job. The water will look, oh, sometimes it will look dirty because the soap does the washing for you while the, it's, it's on the soak, soaking mode. That water you've used the whites, you can still soak the dark colors and then you're able to, to, to clean them the following day. But please don't soak the whites and the dark colors together. You can do the whites first, then you come and soak the dark colors. Or if you don't have that time, you soak them separately, and then you can wash them out like that. So it's a very great product. It's very economical. It has 133 scoops. And maybe in a week, you could be using less than five scoops. For, so, for some people, it will take them quite a, a while, but it also depends on the family, the culture of the family. How often are you washing? Are there babies or is it just being used for cleaning the sheets and the sensitive outfits? I don't know. That will depend on the family culture. Then, of course, the soft is there to soften the fabric. And you only use 5 ml. That's how economical it is. This soft, it has a very nice smell. It will reduce the, it will reduce the ironing time. And it's good for blankets. When you wash your blankets and duvets, it removes the static. You know, once you soap, you wash and put them in the sun, sometimes they get that electric. Some people are very sensitive to that. So you put a little bit of soft and you're good to go. So that is it for G1 laundry. G1 is also good for stain removing. If you have a toilet that is having some very bad stains, the brown stains that are very irritating, you actually make a, a, a paste. You take an old towel, close the water system that is left there, then you, you just paste, you, you can paste Super 10 and G1 as a paste and apply it in the toilet and leave it there overnight. If it's not a toilet being used on a daily basis and you want to work on it, the following day you come and wash. Or maybe you do it when people have left the house. You actually come and put all those areas that are irritatingly stained or even the bathtub. You put that paste of G1 and uh, Super 10, and by the time you come to clean it with a, a scotch bright, you're good to go. Um, the other one is a carpet glow. It's very exciting. This is a carpet that, a glow that will clean your carpet when it's in the house and you don't remove it. How does it work? The first thing is you hoover the carpet, if you have a hoover. If you don't have, use a brush. Just brush out the particles, the dust out and all. Once you do that, get a container, put some water, and then you put uh, the LDC, I mean, you put the carpet glow in there, and the mixture is usually one to 40. For every one cup of carpet glow, you put 40 of water. So you can probably use like the small cups we use for drinking water, the 300 ml or the smaller ones, or something that you can measure with. Um, once you do that, then you agitate the water. And once you agitate the water, you only use the foam to apply on the carpet. 
So you come applying and make sure that everywhere, starting with the farthest place, coming in a way that you don't go back where you came from, you just apply all over and then you leave it there for 20 minutes. Once you are done with that, you come with a, a clean, fluffy paper, uh, towel and you wipe off that foam or you brush it off or you hoof it off, whichever way you are able to do that. And then you just give it a few, maybe another 10 or so minutes and you're good to go. You don't remove the carpet from the house. And it can also be done for seats that have the material. So that is very, very good. Um, it can be used for cleaning blankets. It can be used for cleaning the windows. But if you're using the windows, you use a very small amount, very, very small amount in a mixing. We have something we call a hard spray and bottle. You put the carpet glow inside, you turn that uh, bottle round, return the carpet glow to the bottle. Whatever is left sticking in the, in the hard spray and bottle, then you add water. That's what you use to clean the window with. That's how little you use, because you don't want to, it's very strong. You don't want to cause tricking. Um, so that is it for carpet glue. Then we have fantastic for the floor. The floors, it, you can use for tiles if you want them to look better, or for the wooden, the wooden floors. Is, it makes it look extremely beautiful. Of course, if the floor is old, it might need to be done some bit of sanding. But once that is done, now you can use, you, you make sure you clean it well with, uh, with Super 10, let it dry, then you come and use your fantastic and you clean it out nicely. The instructions are on the container or even when you buy it, the person who has invited you can take you through the process of applying fantastic. For most people, they do three layers. They apply the first layer, let it dry, do the second, do the third. And once you do that, it takes you for a longer time. And then the daily wash, you use either plain water or a little bit with LDC. You don't use Super 10 because you also don't want to remove the fantastic you've already applied. So you have to be careful once you've done the application. Then lemon glue is for the furniture. The real furniture now, the seats, the photos, the photos have nice flame. You want to maintain that. If you have an old uh, umbrella and probably it's been misbehaving and it has a few holes, you can apply either lemon glow or fantastic on it. It gives it a very good covering. It can be used for shining the shoes. You know our men, they love shiny shoes and they also don't want something that will make the socks turn black at some point. So for the hard bags and for the shoes, Lemon, lemon glue will do a very good job for that. Imagine that's how exciting this can be. And it's also very good for the dash, the, the gearbox for the car, where the, those people who have paneled where the gear is for the car, the wooden part of it and the dashboard is very good for that. So for men, they really love this for maintaining that part of their car. Then we have a wash and wax. Wash and wax is for washing the cars. It's a car shampoo. And one, this, this 500 ml pack does 100 washes. What does it do? It will shampoo the car. It will protect the, the, the cover of the, I mean, the, 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 what do we call it? The car protection. And it will wax the body at the same time. You know, many times people need to wash the car. And once in a while, you take it for waxing and it costs you extra money. But with wash and wax, just make sure that the dust has been removed to begin with or mud. Once you do that, get maybe a, a bucket and put your five ml, of, five ml of wash and wax in there. Then use a hose pipe and put in the water with pressure. If you don't have that, agitate the water and then get a piece of cloth and clean the car, part by part, part by part as you rinse it. But make sure you don't do this under direct sun. Because if you do under direct sun, when you're finishing one part, the other part is getting, is tricking out. So you do it under a shade, or you do it very early in the morning or late in the evening when the sun is not going to cause the streaks. So you, you clean it out and then you get your horse pipe and clean out the shampoo 
And once you've done that, it's good to go. For some people, after that, they use a, a cloth to, to puff it up. But for some people, they leave it to dry and it has its protection. So it will, it will work the car at the same time. How about the farm? We talked about farming. We have small farms. We have landscaping for our, some people for homes or whether it's in the village or wherever, where you have the grass, you have the, the flowers and everything, the fences. Superguru is fantastic for that. And it is very good for farming. Any sort of farming, where water goes, Superguru will go. So it will maintain you farming without using a lot of, um, we, we want people use without using fertilizer or you're using probably the, the, the organic manures and then you spray your, your crops, maybe once, twice or thrice or four times in its lifetime. So like if it's maize, what farmers do like in Kitale, they soak the maize overnight and then they plant the following day. Once it gets two leaves, they spray. When they are doing the second top dressing, they, they spray super grow again, and maybe another two or three times and they are good to go. And that goes for all, whether it's dengue, whether it's maharagwe, whether it is things like, um, uh, like the melons, whatever it is you're farming, the trees. We are planting trees, macadamia, avocado, and anytime you're spraying the fungicides and the herbicides, you actually mix with supergrow for it to act better. So it is a foliar, it's a sticker, it's an adjunct, it's a spreader. It does a lot of things. And for production, it will give you three times what you normally get in terms of production. So supergrow is a great product. We did this session on Sunday. So if you are more interested on supergrow, please ask for the the, the, we did an event and it was recorded. Please ask and go through that and help as many farmers as possible to, grow, to, to go through that. Uh, looking at the time. Now, once we've done the home care, sometimes we also need to think about the inside. And that's why I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave the, the health part. I just want to mention that even the, the, the part of our health, even if you are a farmer, you need to take care of your health from the inside. So we do have um, supplements that are great that you can use. And key supplements that everybody needs at one time or another is calcium. Calcium deficiency is causing a lot of stress in many homes, aches and pains, um, joint issues. We all will have tea and wear at one time or another. Our children are very active and the foods we are giving don't have enough calcium. We need to lay that foundation for them right now, yeah? And omega-3 is very good for the brain and for the joints and for the chest areas and for cholesterol. Children are getting cholesterol when they are young for it to bring problems later on. And also omega-3 is good for putting tumors away. It's a very good anti-inflammatory. So for everybody on this call, we need omega-3. We need calcium once in a while. We also need other things like tree and end. Many people don't take whole meals, whole grains. You know the whole grains have a, a, a jam. That jam has good oil that is very good for our cells. And we need to repair our cells on a daily basis. The same way you apply oil on your face every day, maybe even twice a day, your, your cells need that oil from the whole grains. So pro prolonged lack of whole grains in the body causes fatigue, causes hormonal issues. And then of course, it, the other diseases, uh, they, they, they come in. And so that is why we have a product called TreeNN and ProVitality that has the whole grains that we all need to have. And in closing on the, on, on the health part, remember uh, the second wave of COVID is going in almost every place. Like in Britain, the second wave of uh, COVID is really stressing them out right now. Not to mention US got theirs, China already got their second wave, and we don't know what will happen now that the economy is opening every time. So we need to make sure our zinc levels are there. Zinc is very important. Vitamin A and D is very good to prevent COVID. In fact, I was reading last on Sunday somewhere, a doctor saying when you have enough vitamin D, when the virus comes, it has no place to host itself in your body. And I found that very amazing. 
And I've had a lot of videos on that element of vitamin D and its importance on boosting your immunity at this point. So I'll not go into more details. I'll just tell you we have good products. If someone has fertility issues, they can be able to boost their fertility. If somebody has weight issues, the weight loss program is there. And, and for women, for men, for children, heart, joints, I mean, we have quite a range. Whenever you have someone saying, I have this challenge, try to find out how we can help them, even as they get assisted by the doctors. Uh, then the other thing is the skin. We said also skin in part of the environment can affect us. Please on the bare minimum, make sure you have a good skincare you are applying. Um, even in cases where you can't afford, something as simple as getting a good aloe vera gel is good enough or a good uh, cleanser because our skin has a lot of toxins that we, we pick out there. And so on a daily basis, you need to do a good cleansing for your skin. Cleansing is very, very important. So a good cleanser and a good protector, something to nourish back the skin with the vitamins and protection from the UVA, UVB rays of the sun. You know, when it's windy, our our skin has a challenge. When it's sunny, we have a challenge. So that protection and the feeding, the real feeding of the skin, you can get to know more about this and you can be sent the videos, you look at them and you are able to understand more about that. Um, and then, yeah, I think we are done. So for me, what can I say? If you came on this call, we were talking about goldenizing your house with just a few sets of detergents that when you do your budget, you know, if I do my disinfectant, it will take me six months or a year, I'm good to go with that budget. If I do my super 10 and maybe I mix it, some people mix to uh, 20 liters, one to 20 for normal use in the house, you know you are good to go for as many services as possible. That is a budget, you know, I've budgeted for it for my one liter or for my five liter and I'm good to go. If it's your LDC, that you might need to budget maybe a bottle or two or three in a year, or maybe a five liter. With a five liter, you know I'm set. This one will take me throughout the whole year. As long as you don't dilute all of it at once, you do it in phases. And then of course, if you've been wondering how do I clean my carpet, my seats, it can be done by anybody in the house. It's a very easy way of doing it. You can even go to YouTube and you get to see how those some people use um, the, the products. So if you're on the call and you're invited, we just want to tell you that in your life, there's a lot that you can take home. And uh, what we do, we, ex we encourage everybody, if you can, we partner with the company yourself so that you can be able to access the products at costs. The beauty with life now, you do your order when you're in the house. You're able to send the money, to, to through M-Pesa or you use your credit card or whatever system that is given by the company, you do your order in the house, send it to the office and find a way for it to be sent to your house, either by the company or we use, we have couriers that are very available at, at our disposal and the delivery is done within a short while. And thereafter, if you are interested in even building a little bit of the business moving forward. Probably you know farmers who can use the products, you know people around you who can benefit from the health care, the home cares. We would want to see many people using these home cares so that we have a low burden in our environment. So uh, on behalf of the person who invited you, I want to say thank you for spending time with us. Uh, we are grateful that you came. We don't take it for granted. and. Uh, I want to say that we are done with that. And if you're on the call, maybe if you want to know a little bit about even the, 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 the issues of joint, heart, skin, you can go to the New Life uh, University and you can actually do those courses and learn. And if you find somebody who has a challenge in those areas, you can send them and they can listen for themselves and understand what happens when somebody has a heart issue joint issues, how do you help the body repair and come back to normal? And then of course there are social media platforms you can follow for New Life, whether it is uh, Facebook, whether it is Instagram, you'll be getting highlights that you can learn from. 
and more so the person who invited you. In closing, we do this every Tuesday, so you can be joining us to get to know all the other areas of the, all the other areas that we haven't mentioned. We go in bits and in cycles. God bless you on behalf of all the leaders who are on the call. I know they are here. I just want to say thank you for coming once again. Thank you very much. <clears throat> We've post our recording probably if you had a question you can ask you can post a question on chat or you can actually ask now that we are off the main meeting, you can actually ask a question and we can be able to answer. And maybe there were some things on the chat that I didn't see. Maybe Lydia, you can help me if there are any questions. Lydia? Hello, Lydia, can you hear me? Someone was asking if they can, about Fantastic. I don't know who that was. I don't know if they have left. Samsung. Have you left? The one who was asking about a Fantastic on large services. Maggie, I'll answer you about uh, Neo Life Shake. That's not a problem. Okay. Lydia, anyone with a question? Guys, I can see you've not logged out. Yes. Anyone with a question? Those who haven't logged out. Thank you. Tayem, Tayeba. Okay. Thanks, Gladys. Okay. No one with a question. Someone asked about the fantastic. Are they on the call? I was waiting for you to reply her. So at least I, I, I get the knowledge too. Well, in, in a large area, usually what people use, like the warehouse, what I used to see them doing, they used to use the mob. They would apply, the, they would make sure they have a very clean mob, and then they would use that to apply the, the fantastic. But it's best used using your, your heart with a, you can use a, a piece of cloth and you just apply. So even if it's a large service, that is the procedure. Starting from one corner, going in a way that you're not going back where you've already applied until it dries. Then you wait for it to dry, you do another layer. Three layers are effective, but some people may do one or two, depending. Yeah, most of those people, they know how they apply other, other nini. Yeah. Okay, we can call it a day. Lydia, you're not saying anything. I've learned a lot. Thank you very much. You are awesome. <laughs> I have learned, learned, learned. Okay.
All right, guys, then we call it a day. Some of us have another meeting at eight. Awesome. All right. Yeah. yeah. Bye. All right.